he was he slid late, and yeah. I mean it was it was the right call. I was just playing so fast, couldn't stop my tempo and helmet, helmet, but yeah. Do you, do you get excited to go back to the swamp? I know just uh, being committed to Florida, being from Florida, yeah. all that stuff. Um, you know, you boys play for Florida, and once a year you get to play them, and um, I'm excited for it. Yeah. You feel well, well rested? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't play um Tennessee game the second half and. Last game, the second half, so I, my legs are good, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> do, you, do you? Last week, were you concerned that Coach Muschamp was going to be upset? I know the first week, y'all yeah. put that behind you, but then uh, after the targeting call, did you think, oh no, what's, it, what's um, coming now? Coach Muschamp knew that I played fast, and like it was like he said, it was a bad break, and um, he wasn't mad at me. He just said, just got to um, try to pull up at that situation, you know. How frustrated were you? I was real frustrated because every that's like letting my team down, and that's something I try my best not to do. You know? Chris, what's it like in the locker room? You know, on your own. You know, basically the whole game. You know, do you just watch it's the really game on TV? It's really frustrating. Like I said, because I let my team down in that situation, which I'm not trying to purposely, but I'm just trying to play hard for my team. And with that getting called, it just make me feel like really frustrated for letting my team down. Do you, is there any, what do you do? Do you have to stay in the locker room? Can you watch yeah, on television? Yeah, I watch it on television. Okay. Yeah. In the locker room? In the room, locker room, yeah. Have you changed your approach uh, in the last couple of weeks as far as you know, mentally or even technically? Um, my approach, I still, I'm going to still play fast and um, physical and just try to make plays for my team. What has Moody, Chris Moody, brought to the second week? Um, he brought that bigger body coming down, making open field tackles and filling the alley like a um, free safety and the safety does. And he just bring his energy to the team, help us a lot. Were you, were you surprised when he came back? Were you glad to see him? I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was glad to see him because he he one of those bigger guys who can make those tackles, and he he helped our team a lot. Chris, all the all the targeting stuff the last couple of weeks. I mean, is, is that in your head at all when you're on the field? I mean, when you're you on the field, nah. When you're on the field, you don't think about helmet and helmet collision because we have helmets on to protect our body. So. I mean, when you're going for a tackle, you don't think about, oh, I'm going to helmet to helmet, make a helmet to helmet collision. You think about just making a tackle, a physical tackle, and sometimes it gets caught. You know? I mean, we hear a lot about you know, how the head position is supposed to be, you know, how you're supposed to wrap up a certain way, but as you're at the moment of impact, I mean, you can't, all yeah, that stuff can't you be don't, going. You don't think about that. Chris, thank you very much. How nice is it, Coach Muschamp, with his background as a DB's coach, and seems pretty understanding of like mm -hmm. the target stuff. Like, is it kind of a relief to have somebody like that? I mean, before? Coach Muschamp, he's a great coach, and he um, understands like the rules, how they change, and everything, and he understands the physicality that you have to bring to the defense on the back end for us DBs, and it's a relief to have him. You know. Talk about the growth of the secondary and maybe the chemistry that you guys have, the fact that, you know, you were out, even DJ Smith was out, you know, a couple of games ago in the second half, but guys like Jamarcus Ting and Montag stepping up. Um, the growth, I mean, we practice the way we play. Like Coach Mushroom says all the time, the way you practice, that's the way you're going to play in the game. And all those guys practice as hard as and get as much as rep as I do. So the coach um, expect us to, like, come out there and make the play, no matter if you're first string or second string. The, the Tennessee game, I'm sure you already asked about it, but the yes, Tennessee sir. game, and you tweeted the apology and all that, but like, yes, sir. What, what was that kind of like, thinking back to that moment? And, uh, you know, in the I mean, the receiver, he played dirty, you know, I was already away from the play, he grabbed me, and it just was a mental mistake on my behalf for throwing the punch, because that's illegal, and I know that, and it's just a mental mistake, you know, yeah. just the heat of the game, you know what I mean? So. You have to do anything, I guess, run practice or anything like No, that. sir. I know Coach Mustang has taken this like it's just another game, but would it be kind of special to y'all to go win one for him? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, Coach Mustang, this is a real serious game. It, he might not say it, but I know it's a real serious game for him and for Coach T-Rob. So we're going to approach it like it's a real serious game. Any extra meaning for you playing in Florida? Say that again. Any extra meaning for you playing in Florida? I, I didn't hear what you said. Is there any extra meaning for you? Meeting? Like going, meaning? Like going uh, back to Florida and playing? Um, yeah, playing against, like I said, playing against your boys. Um, you get, like, you get bragging rights right there, you know? And that means a lot.
who are your closest friends on that team? Uh, Quincy Wilson grew up together, you know, Brandon Powell, the receiver, Jordan Scarlett, that running back. I mean, it's a lot of dudes on that team that around our area, been together, went to school together, played with on the same park team, you know. Is that more so, I mean, fun? Yeah, it's more fun because you get to beat them all game. So, yeah. Now you guys got Twitter stuff going back and forth. Yeah, me and Quincy. Yeah, me and Quincy was on Twitter talking a little bit. Yeah, what's, what's he got? He got good stuff too. Nah, he ain't got nothing on us. <laughs> he got that. I told him we're gonna be in the swamp pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, y'all kept it pretty light. Yeah, as as, like, it's just light. Yeah. It's just a little, little light talk. <laughs> Who, who on the team is most likely to become president? Say that again. Who on this team is most likely to become president? President? Yeah, yeah. I'd probably be me. You? What's <laughs> <laughs> that? What's your but, uh, I think I bring a lot to the team. Um, <laughs> leadership um, <laughs> and all the plays. What's up, DJ? <laughs> Just the way I play, you know. Yeah. Cool. Hard for my team. Appreciate it, man. No problem. Thanks,